Imagine a world filled with towering statues, majestic gardens, and temples that reached for the heavens. A world where the impossible was made real. Today we're diving into the seven wonders of the ancient world. Wonders so breathtaking that they fascinated humanity for thousands of years. What exactly were they? Why were they built? And how many still stand today? Let's find out. Our journey begins in Egypt with the Great Pyramid of Giza, the only wonder that still stands today. Built more than 4,500 years ago for Pharaoh Khufu, it originally stood at 481 feet. The pyramid is made up of about 2.3 million limestone blocks, some weighing as much as two elephants. To this day, historians marvel at how the ancient Egyptians built such a structure without modern machinery. Though built as a tomb for Pharaoh Khufu, the exact methods of its construction remain a mystery. Some suggest that ramps or pulley systems were used, but no one knows for certain how they achieved such precision with the tools available at the time. Next, we travel to Babylon, in what is now Iraq, to explore the famous Hanging Gardens. These gardens were said to have been built by King Nebuchadnezzar II for his wife, who missed the lush greenery of her homeland. Ancient writers described them as a massive oasis with trees and plants cascading from high terraces. But here's the tricky part. No physical evidence of the gardens has ever been found. Some historians even question if they existed at all. It's possible that the descriptions were exaggerated or entirely fictional, perhaps a poetic symbol of Babylon's splendor. Others suggest they could have been built in another city, like Nineveh, we may never know for sure if the Hanging Gardens were real. Now, let's head to Greece, where the statue of Zeus at Olympia once stood. This enormous statue, made of ivory and gold, depicted the king of the gods seated on a grand throne standing 40 feet tall. It filled visitors with awe and wonder at its scale and craftsmanship. But what happened to it? Some accounts say the statue was moved to Constantinople, where it was destroyed in a fire around 475 AD. However, there's no definitive evidence of this. Others think it may have been destroyed by an earthquake while still in Olympia. Either way, the statue of Zeus is long gone, but its reputation as a wonder lives on. In what is now Turkey, the Temple of Artemis at Ephesus once stood as one of the largest and most beautiful temples of the ancient world. Its marble column stood over 60 feet high, and it became a significant site of worship for the goddess Artemis. Unfortunately, it was destroyed not once, but twice. The first time, in 356 BC, a man named Herostratus burned it down to make a name for himself. The temple was rebuilt, only to be destroyed again by the Goths in 268 AD. Today, only a few columns remain of this once great structure. In Halicarnassus, now Bodrum in Turkey, the mausoleum of Halicarnassus was built as a grand tomb for King Mausolus by his wife Artemisia. Sorry about pronunciation. It stood 148 feet high and was decorated with elaborate sculptures. The mausoleum was so famous that the term mausoleum is now used for grand tombs everywhere. But like many wonders, the mausoleum didn't survive the test of time. Earthquakes in the 13th century severely damaged it, and what remained was later dismantled by the Knights of St. John to build a fortress. Though it no longer stands, the mausoleum of Halicarnassus left a lasting impact on funeral architecture. Now, imagine arriving at the island of Rhodes and being greeted by a statue over 100 feet tall. This was the Colossus of Rhodes, a giant bronze statue built to celebrate the island's victory over invaders. For 56 years, it stood as a symbol of triumph at the entrance to the harbor. Sadly, the Colossus didn't last long. An earthquake toppled it, and it was never rebuilt. The fallen remains stayed on the ground for centuries, attracting visitors from around the world. Some even speculate that the statue inspired the design of the Statue of Liberty, though that's more legend than fact. Finally, we come to the Lighthouse of Alexandria, built on the island of of pharaohs in Egypt, this incredible structure stood around 350 feet tall, making it one of the tallest buildings of the ancient world. Its bright flame guided sailors safely to Alexandria's harbor for centuries. Like many ancient wonders, the lighthouse eventually fell victim to earthquakes. By the 14th century, it had crumbled, 
and its ruins were later used to build a fortress. Though it no longer stands, the lighthouse of Alexandria remains a symbol of ancient ingenuity. Six of these wonders have been lost to time, destroyed by earthquakes, fires, and human conflict. Only the Great Pyramid of Giza still stands today, a reminder of the incredible achievements of ancient civilizations. The seven wonders of the ancient world remind us that while human achievement can be remarkable, even the greatest works are not immune to the forces of time and nature.